What's going on, YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be, and welcome to... Welcome to Demon. This is a brand new tower defense game, huh? You see what they did there? That came out recently. So if you do want to download the title, I will have the links in the description below. So let's go ahead and jump on in, and I'll show you the D men characters that you can collect, taking it from the top, ladies and gentlemen. Now, when I first saw this game, I thought it was gonna be a copyright nightmare, but Thor is public domain. You can make a Thor look any way you want, and I know he looks very reminiscent to the Marvel Universe Thor, but check it out. He got a blue arm. He's safe, good to go. So that's that. Uh, we have Nobunaga over here, reimagined as a cybernetic ninja. We have an orc, reimagined as a cybernetic pirate. <laughs> we'll take it. We have Newton here, which is, just just a dude that works out at your local gym in cargo pants that can't keep his shirt on for some reason. Like, dude, put your shirt on. We ain't trying to see that. Just bench press and get out of here, I tell you. We have Gypsy, which I actually think, on a serious note, I actually think that's a slur, to be honest. Uh, and I apologize for saying it. All right, Sweet Bullet is right there as well. And then we have Spider Boy. Sp spider Boy. <laughs> so once again, this is this is a unique spider concept, all right? I know he might look like someone, and he might even be in the Spider-Verse somewhere, but you ain't seen him in the Marvel Universe, so this guy is a unique property. Nice job. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into combat, starting off with the campaign. Now, this game is a little bit different. Now, let me kind of show you something that I can't show you. Dang it, I can't show you. Yes, I can. Let me show you something here really quick we're gonna go back uh to stage three and one thing i want to show you is that in this game you cannot replay any stage that you've already defeated once you defeated that stage you can never play it again and the reason why they did that and i gotta give them props on it instead of making you regrind the same stages over and over and over again the game has an idle function in there so i actually think that's legit i i like that um, so as opposed to auto repeating or sweeping the same stages over and over and over again, time and time, all draining out your gameplay session, all you have to do, click the little idle function. This will give you upgrade materials to break through your heroes, gold experience, as well as some of these blue crystals. And it's just, it's just there. You don't have to worry about it. So I actually do like that. So shout out to the D men for bringing some really good, uh, quality of life and streamlining to the, to the game here. I, I like it. My bad. So let's jump into combat. Now, this is going to be an old school uh, tower defense game. So not like Ark Knights or anything like that. Not like that new school uh, tower defense method. Um, this is like back in the days when tower defense games were like all the rage and mobile. They all kind of played like this. So this is using a very old template of tower defense. And I, I actually don't think it's going to be too much longer till we start seeing... Um, some Arknight clones, um, but for right now, they're all still using the template from like 10 years ago where all the tower defense games kind of look like this. So we're gonna go ahead and um, as we get gold, we can summon some of our heroes here on these little special predetermined little nodes. Um, and it's pretty straightforward. Uh, my, my boy Thor over here has an ultimate that he can cast. Once our little icon uh, starts lighting up, you can kind of see that there. We'll go ahead and put in our little ice mage here. We can also use gold to uh, upgrade our units as opposed to summoning more. But for the most part, you wanna at least get one character on every single one of these nodes um, and then kind of take it from there. Um, so now we almost have a full team. We can put it on times two once we start getting a little comfortable. Now we have spider boy out here and now we are good to go. We'll use some ultimates here to kind of blow up some of these little golems. Everyone has some very big AOEs here, so it makes it pretty easy. Here's the last wave, G to the G. We got our little Gatling gun girl over here. Our frost mage can freeze things. Our Gatling gun person can zero in. What does Spider Boy do? Spider Boy throws a little slow net. <laughs> pretty cool. And then Newton here with the cargo pants. Um, he also does AOE explosions as well. And that's pretty much the flow of tower defense. Like I said, it's a very old school tower defense flow. Um, they really haven't made tower defense games like this in a long time. And like I said, I think moving forward, you're going to see people clone Arknights as, as opposed to cloning this archetype anymore. Like, this is done. And I don't really think people are going to make games like this any longer. Um, but that is the campaign mode there. Um, as far as leveling up your characters, it's very easy. Um, basically, um, the EXP comes from the idling, as well as this little resource over here as well, which can allow you to break through and continue leveling up. Pretty straightforward, pretty par for the course when it comes to a lot of idle games as well. 
Um, as far as quality of life, it's very easy to just auto equip gear, put it on and keep it moving. Um, the red dots will lead your way. Um, so that's pretty straightforward there. As you guys can see, there's different elemental types for the heroes as well. Um, but that is the campaign stage. So if we go back over here to the home screen, um, I'll show you what else you can do inside the game. There's some interesting things in the game. Um, let's start off with trial by fire. Cause this, I, I saw this and I was like, I understand why you did it, but why'd you do it? <laughs> so in a tower defense game, um, after only, if, if your only gameplay mode is tower defense, I could understand it kind of feeling samey after a while. So this game decided, you know what? In our tower defense game, we're also gonna put like a bootleg hero collector RPG style gameplay mode. You have no control, by the way, there's zero control here, but basically it's just you versus your enemy one by one. No one else, everyone else is just watching. So as long as my main character stays alive, he can complete the entire wave. But if he dies, the next person comes and the next person comes and the next person comes. And basically you use your entire team to defeat these little nodes here. So that's pretty much that. I got you, man, I understand. I don't have all the heroes to make the elemental bonuses. <laughs> but yeah, what a weird gameplay mode. Like like I said, I understand why they did it, but it's a bit goofy. <laughs> like they can't do anything. It's just Newton here in his cargo pants. <laughs> what is this, a little, little ring pop? Homie got a ring pop on his finger um, for whatever reason. Oh yeah, we finally do have times two unlocked, good. When I first did this, I didn't have times two speed unlocked, so it took forever. Um, but there you go, that is, that's that gameplay mode, <laughs> enjoy that. Um, so we're gonna move out of there. Um, Valhalla is the summoning, so we're gonna be doing that uh, later in the video. We have the temple, so this I can't do. So this is gonna be one of those gameplay modes where you can attack other people's accounts and steal their resources, but some of these accounts are just, just way too, look at all these awakened heroes, like what? Yeah, there, there's just no way I could defeat this guy. Let me, how much battle power do I have compared to this guy? Four, yeah, 4,000 versus nearly 100,000 battle power. There's just no way, but eventually you'll get to a point where you can attack these people's bases and take, take some of their resources for yourself. It's the same resources that you get from idling. No one can take all your resources, but um, that is uh, something that you do, do need to be mindful of, have a good defense. That way, when you wake up, all of your idle resources are yours and not some random Joe Smo in Idaho's. All right, so that's that. Um, the crafting system is very idle. Um, very idle reminiscent where you get low tier gear, um, three pieces of low tier gear, make the higher tier gear, and it continues to move up and up and up and up and up. Um, so basically all, all of the high tier gear is made out of a combination of all of this fodder gear that came before it, um, which I do like. I do kind of like this uh, system there. Um, so that is the mechanic system, AKA crafting. Now I haven't done this, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this live. Um, I just joined the guild right before this video. There's a thing called the purge. So let's see, it looks just like kind of like a, a guild battle here. So let's just go ahead and just do that. Jump on in and see what it's all about. So this is, ah, can, <laughs> the guild battle is the hero collecting thing. <laughs> and it's the same exact thing. It's one V1 until one person dies. All right, guys, I'm up next. It's like a, it's like a, I was gonna say a bad kung fu movie, but no, it's like good kung fu movies, ladies and gentlemen, where one, one person, when there's like a hundred uh, other ninjas and samurais and all kinds of stuff in the background, they all have to wait patiently and fight one by one against the hero of the story. That's only fair. <laughs> um, but yeah, there goes the Guild War right over there. I could have did without that. Uh, but there you go, that's Guild War. G to the G, thank you for my resources. Of course, you wanna log in, help your guild out and do your thing. So that's that. Um, as far as like gameplay modes, I mean, it pretty much has everything. I'm kind of making fun of the game a little bit, um, but it kind of touches all the bases. And like I said, um, the campaign mode with the idle function built in, that is some next level stuff right there. And I, I definitely wanna see more games do that um, because there, there really isn't a reason to sit on your computer or your phone all day hitting auto repeat over and over and over, or just having the game just grind by itself all day long. Um, I think idle is the way forward. Um, that way you you automatically just wake up with resources and you use them accordingly. Now, obviously, if you uh, you might be against it if they're, uh, if you feel like you can outgrind the idol, like you you feel like, hey, if I was able to just play all day, I'd be able to get more resources than the idol function would have given me. And then that's a that's an interesting uh, counter to it. But I think for the majority of the players, something like an idol function would be really cool. 
uh, as opposed to making them just sit on their phone all day. We got a legendary hero, ladies and gentlemen. Who this? Blackhawk. That's racist. All right, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we got another elite hero here as well. And got another copy of you. I actually don't know what I do with dupes. So let's figure that out real quick and see what we do with dupes there. That's all my cash shop currency. Go over here to heroes. So it looks like dupes are only going to be like in the wake, the awakening system. So if you go over here to the immortal garden, um, the game does have a nice little quality of life that should automatically do the right awakenings for you. So let's go ahead and hit it. Very reminiscent to AFK Arena and Mobile Legends Adventure, so I appreciate that. And then from that point, you can kind of do your own thing, depending on which characters that you like the most. Um, so there you have it. Um, but that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, just a quick look at Demon. If you want kind of like a more old school hero collect or uh, tower defense kind of vibe, um, you can absolutely play a game like this here. Um, we're going to go ahead and get Blackhawk up here leveled up just a tad. Because I do want to see him in action. Like I said, pretty easy upgrades. Get to level 10. You can limit break them. There we go. Now we're out of resources. Auto equip gear. We're good to go. Into the fray. Take out Spider Boy one more time. And uh, do I care about anyone? Do, 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 do. Yeah, that looks fine. That looks fine. All right. And then we got Thor already on the battlefield for whatever reason, but I was going to put him there anyway. Times two speed. Yeah, Thor is a beast. Let's go ahead and put Blackhawk right up there. See what he's all about. He kind of has a storm. It looks too close to everyone else's kind of ultimate, though, to be honest. We'll go ahead and start putting out all our little little heroes here in our nodes and that will do it ladies and gentlemen what is this little arrow here i don't know what that does hmm. oh, i see you guys trying to sneak go ahead and level up some of my back line here to make them as strong as possible old school tower defense ladies and gentlemen pretty much all the games used to be like this hit you a little bit of frosty on you but everything is a little pretty easy with when everything when everything's like a big AOE like that. It's pretty straightforward. Um, but that will do it. My name is FG3000. Thank you uh, so much for watching. This was Demon, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later. <laughs>